What's going on guys, Austin Zay back here with another video, and if you're brand new to my channel, definitely stay to the very end of the video. Uh, this is gonna be a phenomenal video, okay? I'm actually gonna show you how to make $100,000 your first year in wholesaling real estate. Now, if you're brand new to real estate or you're brand new to wholesaling, don't worry, uh, that is totally okay. I'm gonna break everything down for you. And if you're brand new to my channel, then just know that I've closed about 1,500 wholesale deals in my career. I've flipped a bunch of houses, I'm a real estate agent, we own multiple rental properties, and we're scaling every day, okay? I'm nowhere near where I wanna go, but I feel like I'm at a point where I wanna give you value. If you're watching the video, I want you to get value. And if you've been thinking about getting into real estate or becoming a wholesaler, or you just wanna make more money, then this is gonna be a video for you because in my humble opinion, I believe that there is a ton of money to be made with wholesaling real estate. So if for some crazy reason you're brand new, like you're like, Austin, what in the world is wholesaling real estate? Do I need a bunch of money? Do I need good credit? Do I need real estate experience? Do I need to know how to be a contractor, how to change you know, ceiling fans, how to rip out flooring, how to put new floor? Look, you don't need to know any of that, okay? Wholesaling real estate is simply the art of getting a property under contract below market value and then flipping the contract to a cash buyer for a small amount of profit, okay? So you're actually just creating arbitrage by flipping the contract and you're never actually the buyer. You're never closing on the deal. So really the biggest question becomes like, Austin, where do I go to get wholesale deals? Like where do I go to get deals? How do I make a hundred grand in one year wholesaling real estate? State. So it's pretty simple, right? Uh, you again, you've got to get properties under contract below market value. So when you look at, you know, the nation, okay, it doesn't matter where you live. I live in Arizona. It doesn't matter where you live. You could live in any state in the country. How do you get properties below market value? Well, there's got to be a reason that somebody would sell their property below market value, right? I mean, at the end of the day, not anybody and everybody's going to sell their property below market value. A lot of people, they're going to go list it with a real estate agent. They want top dollar for their property, especially in the market we're in right now, right? Because we can all agree on one thing. If you know anything about real estate or you even own a house yourself, then property values are insane, right? Uh, there's a huge shortage of supply. There's a ton of demand. We have low interest rates. I mean, it is just a crazy real estate market that we're in right now. We've got a lot of big institutional investors buying, which creates a big problem for like first time home buyers because they can't compete obviously with the Wall Streets of the world, right? So, you know, real estate is an interesting market. So it's like, where are you gonna find a good property below market value? And my biggest advice for you is pretty simple, right? You wanna understand why would somebody sell below market value to begin with, right? And there's a million reasons why somebody would sell below market value, okay? And a couple of those reasons might include that somebody's getting divorced. Somebody inherited the property, right? They got a job transfer. They lost their job, right? Uh, whatever it might be, uh, maybe the property just needs a bunch of work and they can't afford to fix the property up, right? They can't afford to renovate the property and put it back on the market with a real estate agent. The property's outdated. It, it, it's been lived in for 20, 30 years and nobody's ever done any renovation to the property. So these are just a couple of reasons why somebody would sell their property slightly below market value. And remember, you're providing a huge solution. So in no way, shape, or form would I sit there watching the video and think to myself, well, Austin, but am I just taking advantage of people? Like, am I just like lowballing people? Not at all, right? Because again, you're providing a value. You're providing a service to the seller, right? To the homeowner. Because they need to sell, right? They wanna sell quick. They might not be able to list it with an agent, right? Or whatever the case is. And so you're making them a cash offer uh, for simplicity, right? You're able to close fast. You're able to cover all of the fees. Uh, they're not going to have to pay any real estate commissions because you're not a real estate agent. You're acting as the buyer or as the principal in the transaction, right? So um, again, a million ways to find a direct to seller motivated person who, again, they want to sell, right? And you're providing a service. So again, how do you make a hundred grand? Well, to keep it really simple, if you made $10,000 per wholesale deal, okay, and you did that every single month in one year, you would make $120,000. So you have to figure out how to do one deal per month for a 10 
thousand dollar profit. Now, 10 grand is pretty normal when it comes to wholesaling real estate, okay? It's pretty simple to make 10 grand, right? Because you're making an assignment fee, which is what they call this, okay? An assignment fee uh, for providing a service to the buyer, right? The buyer, they don't have to find the deal. You're bringing the, the flipper or the landlord a deal on a silver platter and they'll pay you a premium for that service. So in order to find a deal a month and close a deal a month, you know, my opinion is this, I need to make a bunch of offers every single month on property. So I need to be talking to sellers every single month in order to get a minimum of one deal per month. There's a lot of ways to do this. I'm going to include a couple of different things that I've used in the past and that I've used a million times in the description below. So definitely go check that out. Uh, you know, I love personally to cold call people, right? I also love to knock on people's doors. You know, I love to knock on somebody's door where it looks by looking at the front yard. I'm like, that house needs a lot of work, right? The weeds are overgrown. It looks like there's fire damage, there's water damage. Maybe it doesn't look like anybody's living there, right? I will knock on the door and say, hey, my name's Austin. Just curious if you'd ever thought about selling, right? And then I'll build rapport with them. I'll build a relationship with them and I'll figure out what they want for the property, right? And then we can see if we can make the numbers work. So regardless of how you go about finding the seller or the homeowner that wants to sell, uh, the, the biggest key takeaway here is you've got to make a bunch of offers. Now you're typically making offers, depending on where you live, anywhere from like 50 cents on the dollar up to maybe 80 or 90 cents on the dollar, right? And you're leaving enough meat on the bone for the end investor or the end landlord or whoever it is that is going to buy the contract off of you prior to close of escrow. But remember this, a lot of people they're like, but Austin, I gotta get a bunch of buyers before I get deals and I gotta do this and I gotta do that. Like if I wanna make a hundred grand in wholesaling, um, you know, in 2022, like how do I find buyers for the deals, right? Remember, remember one simple thing. Uh, and first and foremost, smash the like button if you haven't already, but remember that the money will always chase the deal and the deal will never have to chase the money, okay? So understand that in the real estate industry, right, a, a good deal, buyers will be attracted to a good deal, right? Buyers will come out of the woodworks to buy a good deal, right? So if you have a deal and it isn't selling, right? Like you have a property under contract and you're not able to sell it, like simply as like putting it on Facebook, right? And it doesn't sell to a cash buyer. And again, there's a million ways to find cash buyers, then it's probably not a good deal because selling the contract to an end investor is not complicated, okay? Depending on where you're at in the United States, I can probably sell your deal for you, okay? Or I'll buy the deal. We're in a ton of markets throughout the country. So if you're watching the video and you're like, Austin, I need more buyers in my local market, I'm a buyer, right? Comment down below. I would love to interact with you, but make no mistake about it. There's a million dudes out there just like me that are looking for good deals. So all you have to do in the beginning to make a hundred thousand dollars a year is make sure you're having enough conversations every single month in order to get people to want to sell a below market value, right? To get a deal every single month. And you're making a hundred grand a year wholesaling real estate. Guys, if you're watching the video, it is not complicated, right? All the people you see on YouTube or HGTV or wherever it is that you've been watching content, you know, these are normal average people, right? They're nobody special. They don't know anything inherently that you don't know right now watching this video. If I were you, I would set a goal. How many people are you going to talk to every month? How many doors are you going to knock, right? You can even drive for dollars, okay? I have a really good app in the description down below where you can go drive for dollars, okay? It's just simply where you're driving around in your car and you're looking for distressed properties, right? And then you're skip tracing the owner, okay? You're getting their contact information through the app and you're giving them a call or you can get out of your car and knock if you want, but you're just getting a hold of the homeowner and you're just saying, hey, my name's Austin. I saw your house on 123 Main Street and I know this is kind of random and out of the blue, but I was just curious if you'd ever thought about selling, okay? If you have enough of those conversations every month, you are basically guaranteed to make that 100 grand a year because you're going to get deals. If you make enough offers, you're going to get deals, okay? So um, really, there should be no reason that if you're interested in wholesaling and you want to get involved and you want to make money that you can't do it, right? Like there's absolutely no reason under the sun that you can't do it. If you're not doing it, then it simply means you're not putting in the work, right? You're watching too many of these videos, which as long as I guess you're watching my videos, then I'm cool with it. Um, no, I'm just kidding, right? But you're watching too many videos and you need to start taking 
action, okay? So understand, in business and in life, you've gotta take action, right? Action equals results, right? You can't succeed, you can't make 100 grand in real estate if you're not taking action every single day, right? I would be on the phone with 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 people a day, and I would be making offers on at least five or 10 properties per day. Because at the end of the day, it is just a numbers game, right? If you wanna make that 100 grand a year, and you wanna provide for your family, your future family, your kids, your wife, your, your, your whatever, right? Then you have to do this. Like, it's a numbers game, right? And, and you can't get um, depressed, or you can't get you know, upset when people say no, and when people reject you, and when people slam their door in your face, right? It is a part of real estate. It's a part of any industry, in all honesty, right? There's no industry you can get involved in where people aren't gonna reject you, where people aren't gonna tell you no, where people aren't going to say, uh, not for me, right? So understand that it is just a part of the game, and if you're willing to play the game, you can make an unlimited amount of money. There's no uh, cap, there's no ceiling to the amount of money that you can make with wholesaling. I wanted to obviously make the video telling you how to make 100 grand, right? And how to make 100 grand is pretty simple. Make five or 10 offers on properties every single day. Do that consistently every day. You're bound to get a minimum of one deal per month. You can do that through cold calling, through driving for dollars, through door knocking, or whatever the case might be. However you can get a hold of a homeowner and ask them if they're interested in selling their property, right? However you're able to pull that off, whether you use the links in the description down below or not, it is 100% doable and 100% possible. Look, if there's anything I didn't cover in the video where you're like, Austin, I really wish you'd have talked more about, you know, working with buyers. I wish you'd have talked more about like, how do I make an offer on properties? Like, how do I know how much money to make an offer? Uh, what contract do I use or whatever it might be? I'm happy to make more videos on it. Okay. So just drop in the comment section below and I will interact with you and make more videos for you. That is obviously my goal. And again, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you would take just a quick second and just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.